All right, where to begin? Let's just go thanks. ahead and listen. Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us here today. The reason why we wanted to wait, because it's important, because the agreement we've been able to reach, standing on our principle of protecting the sanctity of life and health care reform, could not have been done without the support of the colleagues with me today and our West Virginia colleagues, Mr. Rahal, Mr. Mollahan. So I'm pleased to announce that we have an agreement. And so with the help of the President, the Speaker, we were able to come with an agreement to protect the sanctity of life and the health care reform. That there will be no public funding for abortion in this legislation. We've all stood on principle. It's a principle we've carried forward ever since June 25th when we first signed a letter to the Speaker saying, as we do health care reform, we do not want any public funding for abortion. We expect the current Hyde language to apply throughout this health care bill. We've always said, most of us at least, that we were for health care reform. We wanted to see health care reform, but there was a principle that meant more to us than anything, and that was the sanctity of life. That you have to continue with that moral principle of protecting those unborn children. So I've always supported health care reform. We demanded the current law be there, that the sacred promise be kept, and I'm pleased to say we have. Today, the President has announced he will be signing an executive order. That executive order will be signed after the health care legislation as it refers back to the health care legislation to reinforce that principle, that, that belief that we all stood on, no public funding for abortion. There has been some question raised by different groups that in this health care reform package, that somehow, some way, the abortions could be performed at the community health centers. The President's executive order makes it very clear that will not happen. There's some question that underneath in, uh, in this bill that somehow you could pay for abortions with the new funds being appropriated, being appropriated for the um, community health centers. That is not possible with this executive order. There was concerns in this legislation that the conscious clause, that those who might have religious or moral objections, or a facility run by, say, the Catholic Health Association, would somehow uh, be co-opted or their values be lessened underneath this health care legislation. The President makes it very clear the conscious clause will always be available and it will be in force of law. But all of that, the real victory here, or the real winner, is really the American people. 31 more million Americans will have health insurance. We will no longer be able to rescind insurance policies on the whim of the insurance companies. We have present pre-existing pre injuries will no longer disqualify you for coverage. Your college kids, your kids in college will be able to stay on your policy longer. There will be no lifetimes caps. There will be no need for Americans to go into bankruptcy because of health care. All of the accomplishment, all the accomplishments we have in this health care bill and in this executive order, an extensive executive order, could not have happened without the help of my colleagues. I'd also like to thank Mr. Waxman, Mr. Dingle, the Speaker, Leader Hoyer, most importantly the President, my DC staff and my Michigan staff who have really taken a pounding these last few weeks uh, with telephone calls. And on a personal privilege, I'd like to thank my family and friends who have stood with me, especially my wife Lori, who has really been uh, helping us out with her love and support. And she was the one who was accepting, or not accepting, but receiving those calls at 2 or 3 in the morning at my house while I'm out here in D.C. So hopefully that will all end. We can get back to some normal lifestyle in our family. But I want to thank my colleagues. It would not have happened without these folks right here. And they stood strong. They stood on a principle and a belief. And I'm so proud to be with them.